Hey, it's Charles Polanski, freelance copywriter. I'm back with another fun bit. It's called Reduce the Agony of Churn Rate, How to Really Use Honesty to Amaze. What one dishonest marketer can teach your B2B SaaS company. Honesty is the only policy for B2B SaaS companies. SaaS runs on subscriptions. If you betray the trust of a customer, you'll lose their trust. They'll unsubscribe. Your dreaded churn rate will go up You'll lose potential referrals and testimonials. Be honest in all your marketing. They'll get to know, like, and most importantly, trust you. These are the three pillars of human commerce. Companies make a quick buck through dishonesty, uh, and they littered history, the companies that do that. But they also never got repeat customers. These hucksters had to find new suckers or invent a new scheme. In the social media age, it is harder to pull this off. Word of mouth and online reviews spread at the speed of light. Deceit will weigh on your conscience. Extra energy gets spent inventing lies and covering for them. Whatever you do, do it well. Do it so that when people see you do it, they will want to come back and see you do it again. And they'll want to bring others. Dot, dot, dot. That was Walt Disney. He supposedly said this. I can't prove it 100%, but it sounds good. This topic took me back to my childhood memory. I was flipping through a comic book, it was 1978, I was just four years old. The oversized comic's name was Superman vs. Muhammad Ali. The cover was mesmerizing, it wrapped all around to the back, it showed Ali and Superman boxing, alien planets and moons hung overhead, an endless sea of attendees filled a massive stadium. If you look closely, you can spot many famous faces. There was Frank Sinatra, Lucille Ball, Pele, Johnny Carson, Liberace, the Jackson Five, and many more were there. American presidents Gerald Ford and Jimmy Carter came with their wives Betty and Rosalind. Superheroes like The Flash, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, and others were there. Bald supervillain Lex Luthor even got a seat next to Batman. The comic book cover transported me to a fantasy world. I didn't even need the rest of the comic book, but I did open and read the wild story. But there was one special page I turned to that blew my mind. Enter the wonderful world of amazing live sea monkeys. The real live fun pets you grow yourself. A fantastical family of pink underwater creatures smiled back at me. These human-like sea monkeys sat in front of a majestic purple castle. Was this part of the comic? No, my, former, my four-year-old brain reasoned. This is real. You can buy some of your own. There's a real order form and address on there. Another small, smaller picture demonstrated their true size as being three to eight inches tall. The sea monkey family sat in a giant fishbowl. A smiling nuclear family looked into the fishbowl. So eager to please. They can even be trained. Of course, they almost look like people. And our famous growth guarantee in writing, the order form, even included this. I must be 100% satisfied or you will return my money. Wow, what was there to risk if I got a money back guarantee? I scrounged up the vast sum of a buck twenty-five plus fifty cents posted to June. I mailed my order in. I thought my order was lost, or maybe the sea monkeys got lost in the mail. They finally arrived many, many weeks later. I poured the sea monkeys into a big glass jar. I added water and the special sea monkey growth food and sea plasma. I waited. Finally, some tiny white shrimp hatched. They all grew to about five millimeters before quickly dying. What happened to my little merman growing to eight inches? Where were the human-like features of legs, arms, and a smiling human face? Where were the happy families? They all looked the same. There were no daddies, mommies, and children. Eager to please? Could even be trained? These tiny brain, sh brain shrimp are too dumb for any of that. I was not a happy camper. Did I even remember the money-back guarantee? Even if I did, the company could say that the sea monkeys grew from the eggs. That was their growth guarantee. I can almost guarantee no one got their money back. There was an ad disclaimer. Caricatures shown not intended to depict Artemia. You don't say. Artemia is a genus of brine shrimp. Sea monkeys are supposedly an artificial breed, special breed of Artemia. 
They might have gotten my buck 75, but they'd never get another cent from me. I've experienced the ugly side of dishonest ads. I've been on the buying end many times. Those companies made a quick buck on me, but they never got repeat business from me. As I study honesty from a copywriter's perspective, I see how honest companies thrive. The man behind Sea Monkeys was Harold von Braunhaut. How shameless a mar marketer was Harold? He ran another comic book ad for the Invisible Goldfish. It came with a 100% guarantee that you'll never see the goldfish. It only came with a glass bowl, a handbook, and fish food. No fish included. At least I got some brine shrimp eggs with my order. Von Braun had somehow made millions from various gimmicks over the years. You can still get sea monkeys today. Their packaging and advertising are much less hyperbolic now. If anyone knows their secret, let me know. I guess they cater to the novelty and dirt cheap pet markets. This type of behavior is no chance in the SaaS world. A SaaS company has to keep its customers happy. They have to follow through on their promises. While offering a free trial, this is critical. They need to set realistic, honest expectations with their audience. They need to deliver on and exceed those anticipations. When the SaaS product delivers, they'll want to subscribe. Paying customers have to be kept happy with quality service. New features have to be released constantly. Customers need new reasons to stay engaged. Competitors are always lurking around the corner. They are ready to lure customers away. Here are some simple ways to be more honest. Number one, fact check your marketing statements. If you aren't 100% certain about a statement, you have three choices. One, research it, get it backed up with proof. Two, admit you can't prove it. Add I believe or likely or I think it's true or something similar. Or three, remove it. Uh, second simple way, learn the deep true story of your client, product, and customers. Share these truths. Tell stories illustrating them. This detail will stick with clients. You'll deliver on your promises since others have experienced them. And a third simple way, be authentic you will stand up from the bland and inauthentic slash fake. Honesty can reveal failure and weakness. That is okay. Your company will gain empathy and trust from this honesty. We've all had failings. We can identify and sympathize. Furthermore, we become more trusting when someone shows frailty. Honesty is the best policy. Sir Edwin Sands, an English politician from the 15th through 16th century. A politician coined this famous phrase, who knew? But it truly is the best policy, especially for a subscription-based industry like SaaS. How do you get someone to sign up and stick with you? Be honest in all your marketing. They'll get to know, like, and trust you. That's the last one, the most important. And finally, once again, I'm Charles Polanski, freelance copywriter with Chuck Ski Productions, and I specialize in crafting words that sell in the B2B SaaS industry. Need a resourceful, creative copywriter? Hit me up at chuckski.com slash contact. And that's it.